Are you aware that not all peers are valid the same? That some are actually valid more than others? <laughs> it's all about the money peers today. Let's get it rolling. Wagwan, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Trey Costin. If it's the first time over here, what we do over this channel is to analyze the financial market. Chop chop it up in a pieces so each and everyone can understand. Money peers. Not all peers are valid the same. So today, in this chart markup, I'm going to take a look at money peers. What do I mean by money peers? We're going to take a look at gold, US 30, as well as German 30. But before I jump into it, you know what, Gary? Quick disclaimer. Alright, cool. Watch me now. So, we all know that gold, right? Gold was in this downtrend, right? For quite a while, right? It's a nice looking downtrend. Right? It's a nice looking downtrend right here. Then what happened? It brought that downtrend structure. It came to a, a key level right here. This little black line right here. It's a key level. See that? It's a respected key level. So if you notice from my previous videos on gold, I said to you guys that we gotta watch out for this level. Because if gold is respecting this level, you cannot continue to sell. Right? So what I'm predicting right now based on experience see this little box going across right here I'm predicting that gold will continue to respect this era and consolidate for a while right so you cannot assume that it's ready to go back up where it's coming from unless the basic of trading has completely breaks its era retest create a higher low then continue up or break down here retest create a lower high then continue down right that's the only way you can assume that gold is ready to break out up here the basic has to be confirmed so for now right so for now what we're gonna do let me remove this what we're gonna do we're gonna play the respected era simple as that right so watch me now gold Respected here, the coin respecting here, right? Impulse retrace, right? Creating somewhat a lower high, right? So I'm expecting it to come back somewhere here and do this, right? So this is the sell move that you want to play on gold for the week, right? So let me get it up a little bit more. Alright, watch me now. This is what I'm looking at. See the retrace right here, low high. It's now forming a doji, or should I say, has formed a doji, right? And you know that doji means indecisiveness in the market, right? So it's about to turn around right now and to continue down. So all you want to see right now is a bearish engulfing pattern, and then bam, you're in, right? A strong, strong bearish candle, and then you can enter the next one, right? So want to see something like this it already did this all right bam here then bam here right so you could play safe you could play safe like um stop loss right here all right take profit somewhere about here all right don't be greedy you could you could take profit thereabouts right so it's a money pier so small moves but make you large money right or if you want to hold that a little longer you could come somewhere about here but but now the safest thing to do is somewhere about here, you know, get some nice little pips on that, right? And it just says a money pair, so it's gonna pay out a lot. Alright, moving on. Alright, US 30. Watch me now. So US 30 has been in this uptrend for the longest time since Corona, right? Since Corona hit, right? March 2020. 
US 30 just been going up, going up, going up. Like going up <laughs> like creating some really new heights right let me get this a little better for you guys creating some really new eyes all right not bad at all watch me now auto bomb open up my charts open up these candles all right and if you don't know how to open a chart Check out my YouTube video this Thursday on Trading View, right? Because a lot of people don't know how to open a chart properly. So watch me now. So we had this strong level right here, right? Alright, so price shifted, retested, created a high low, broke through there, retested, created a high low right here, right? And now it's doing another shift, right? Shift has not retested us yet, right? So I'm saying to you this: we gotta play it smart, guys. Watch me now. We gotta be smart. This right here was a next level, right? That price retested, right? And then broke, right? So for US thirty, we don't really have a history. We don't really have a history, right? So what are we gonna do? Being that we don't have an issue because it's new eyes, the simple thing that you're gonna do is this. Let me remove this. Bam. I'm gonna look at the waves. You notice these waves is kind of similar, right? So being that these waves is kind of similar, we're gonna start look at patterns. So that's how you're gonna know where you're gonna go next, right? So watch me now. You had a, a pattern right here, right? Bam. To here, where it retested, right? Also, you had a next pattern right here, right? Bam. And it retested right here, right? So, all you're gonna do is this. I'm just gonna drag this pattern right here. Bam. So, I expect price to have the same. MO as we would say in law going going forward right so let me shift this pattern right here and see if it's similar right somewhat similar somewhat right somewhat similar right so somewhat similar and we're gonna do the same thing right here right so we want price to do something like this so this is a level right here Right, it's a level right here, guys. Price broke out of that level. Let's go with the movement now. Shift. Respect here. Retrace. Respecting here now as support. Right? And then continue up. Right? So, therefore. From once you continue getting bullish movement, you could play this uptrend about here, 34253, 30, and then you have the retracement as well to look at. Alright? So you could just continue this uptrend right here to start the week, but know that somewhere right here about uh, 34163 or 3400 there about, price is going to start to retrace based on previous behavior of the US 30. Alright? So to start the week, we're looking at something like this. All right, bam. All right, take profit there about right there. Stop loss there about right there. All right, simple as that. Moving on. All right, German 30. Watch me now. So German 30 moves one in the same like US 30. For those who don't know, right? Move one in the same. So been in this uptrend right for the longest time right the longest time been in this nice uptrend since march 2020 doesn't that sound familiar like what i just said all right a while ago on the us 30 all right so no care okay, they move the same right so the option is yours right so watch me now auto i'm um, opening up my charts wow so 
German Turkey brought this lever right here, then continue up, right? Boom. Here. Then you had another lever here that it respected. Alright. So what are you gonna do? We're gonna do the same thing we did on the US 30, right? Because these are some new levels. There's no history for you to look left to see what's happening. So you gotta do the same thing. Work off the MO, right? So watch me now. I wanna take this last shift and retest right here, right? Get our predictive bar. Alright, bam, to here, bam. Alright. Then I'm gonna come here. So it has made that impulse before. So see right here it has already made that impulse. So it's 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 at a place, right? Where it's about to retrace based on the MO. Does that make sense? Alright? So it's gonna expect that retracement from the German turkey. Alright, to about here. Let me get that level. Bam, right here, right? So German turkey. We're gonna play it a little bit different from the US 30, right? So the US 30 still have some has some room for the impulse, but German 30 doesn't have all that room. So what we're gonna do with the German 30, right? Allow it to complete the about right here. Shift retrace right here, create a higher load, then we go in, right? Bam, right? So let me see if I could copy this. Bam. Alright, copy. Face. Bam. Alright. So this is the move that the German 30 is making, right? So after shift retrace right here, right? Create a higher low, right? Bam, we're gonna go in right here. Alright, for the buy right here. Alright, so about here. Alright. Entry here. Stop loss there. Alright. Bam, there are the levers right there, right? So allow it to hit this lever right here, right? Hit this lever right here. And then bam, retrace, right? Create a higher low. And then we're gonna go up there, right? So we're gonna try to go up to about 1500, right? What's that? 15591, my bad. 15591, stop loss there about right here. 14887, once it hits about this zone, right? So you know the basic of trading, right? This is the previous low. Bam, previous low right here. Right. And then bam, you want it to shift complete that retest right there about right here and create a higher low. So why are we using why are we using the, the shadows, right? Why are we using the shadows, right? As I said, the US 30 and German 30 are creating some new eyes. So there's no history to look left. To no levels, right? So you gotta use the MO. What at what has it done in the past, right? What is its style? Right, so that is why we're using the shadow. So, this is what I do when there's no history in the past. Thank you guys for watching. And if there's any charts, I mean, like any charts, you like to see me mark up, please comment below and I'll try my very best to assist you. Go and big up on yourself and enjoy the rest of your week. I'm out.